one of Representative Angie King's key allies and star witnesses, hesitated to label all drag shows as obscene during his committee testimony. Uh, how about obscene? Do you think they're all obscene as well, in your opinion? Uh, again, through the chair to, to the representative, I, I don't know that I'm qualified to speak to that question because I don't know that I'm an expert on the legal definition of obscenity. Potentially harmful, I can say yes, I, I believe that drag shows for children are potentially harmful. However, in private, within his anti-LGBTQ Facebook group, he appeared far more confident in making sweeping statements against drag performances. Uh, regardless of what um, any mentally ill man posing as a woman and running for Congress insists, Um, drag shows are inherently sexual, okay? You can't get away from it. A man trying to impersonate a woman by wearing makeup and dressing as a woman and wearing a wig and tape, taping fake breasts to himself, that is abnormal. That is sexually devi deviant, no matter what any congressional candidate uh, would happen to say. This is exactly the type of hatred and bigotry that finds a welcome path to Representative King and many of our state GOP officials. We can't let any electoral setback silence us. It's more important than ever to keep standing up, speaking out, and fighting for a fairer Ohio.